<laughs> and we're Zombie back. Zombie face. <laughs> and we're back. Nah, Welcome back I... to the Fears and Beers podcast. Fears and Beers. Um, Sickman, or as uh, Esso sort of likes to say, Sickman. Sickman. Sickman and Roy. No. Sickman. <laughs> no, the, the psychologist, Sickman Freud. That's... Sorry, exactly that was a too what I was trying to say, but I totally fucked it yeah, up. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, we're back. The beers and fears. Fears and beers. <laughs> <laughs> Had too many beers right now, guys. Bear with me. Fears and beers podcast. Sick man speaking. We got a zombie face. <laughs> That's zombie a zombie face. face. And um, uh, let me introduce him, because the last time it was kind of weak, he was like... Oh, and presenting! We're going to introduce next. myself. Uh, and presenting the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, Aso, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Everybody, please. No, no, you're too kind. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we need Will Smith here. <laughs> <laughs> He was. Are we really action. talking about this? I don't know. No, let's go no. into to the to the paranormal. <laughs> ghosts. Paranormal. All right. So ghosts. we got some personal ghost stories for you guys today or tonight, um, or whatever time it might be there where you are. It's okay, there we go. Reader. Thank you. <laughs> we're already thank drinking. you. And um, we're being fueled by tonight. We're being f- fueled by Budweiser Select, ninety nine calories, thirty one carbs, along with. Johnny Walker, Black Label. And? Not one by two. What the hell is that? Uh, sing- Jack Daniels, single barrel, select Tennessee whiskey, 44, 47% alcohol. What? <laughs> what is it, like shit. 93% proof? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Only drink them. Yeah, shit. Real and men drink Black Label. Take a shot. Yeah, yeah Black Label. Ah, it was. Okay. We, uh, we, uh, kidding, there guys. some speed bumps, so we couldn't start recording, but do we kept drinking. <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, do you just want to go through this? And like, yeah, well, let's first talk about ghosts. All right, ghostesses. And, um, for a lot of people, are scary. When I was a child, yes, they scared the shit out of me. As of now, I want to see them. You want to see him? I want to see him. How long has it been? It's I mean, like since like the last. Uh, yeah, since the last. The last. I want to say about years. about seven years. Seven years since I've heard something. Okay. Since you're all oh, okay, okay, okay. Since I've heard something, and I I know I know it was it was it was the house because the way mm. the way I see it, I mean, when you want to, it doesn't happen. Mm. When you when you welcome it, it doesn't. Yeah, definitely because there's. Oh, there's a good. There's a story of when like we were welcoming it, like we wanted here. Now then we're we're young, we're young. So you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna tell that story. So there's we're at at my my old house, my aunt's house, my grandma's house, um, and they all lived there. That's why I said all of them. Um, <laughs> and it was a time when the movie Shocker came out, and like in a night a night before or a couple of nights before, I don't remember. Um, we kept hearing fucking footsteps in the kitchen, and fucking like we'd hear like the plates rattle and move and. Shit. It was crazy right mm-hmm. so me and my cousin we decided it was like you know what hey let's go let's go back to to grandma's house and we're gonna stay up and we're gonna take a recorder and we're gonna record all that shit that we hear right so we go we go we make a night of it we rent the movie shocker and we're, we're we're kids i think we're maybe middle school and um so we watched the movie shocker and and around midnight nothing happened because that's about the time that it was happening right and uh, nothing happened. So f- everybody started falling asleep except for me and my cousin. So we're there. We're, we're just sitting, me and her talking, talking in the dark. And all, and, and we had the tape recorder, right? So we're like, oh. and nothing happened. Nothing happened. So we turned everything off. TV went off. We finished the movie. And we're f- talking. All of a sudden, the f- footsteps came out in the f- kitchen. And they stopped right before they got into the room. And f- me and my cousin were like, oh, holy shit. you hear that, you hear that, you hear that? And boom, those footsteps fucking walked into the room that we're at, and we freaked the fuck out. We fucking woke up my dad, 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 wake up. It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. She wakes up, and she's like, what, 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 what? like, the fucking ghost, it's here, it's here. And fucking, that was it. That was it. But we're ready to hear that bitch. 
Nothing happened. We turned off everything because we were expecting it. And once we stopped expecting it, that's when she came. Huh. She. Well, I don't know what it was. It. I would, I would want to say thing. she. Yeah. I don't know why I would say she, but. Well, because they can never keep quiet while you're asleep. <laughs> 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 yeah. There we go. There you go. Thank it's you. Good Thank one. you. It's a good one. I'll be here all night. But, uh. Yeah, and and um, I, you know, my grandma was still alive at the time, so um, I don't have no idea who was who was haunting. But that, you heard that the spot. noise in the room. Yeah, no, yeah, like we like, cause there was it's it's like the room, and like we didn't even have a door; we had a fucking curtain, mm-hmm. right? Uh, yeah, el cuatro. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like the kitchen was right there, and and like you, we heard fucking footsteps, and it was like they were wearing like slippers or something; like they were dragging their feet. So we heard her, or heard it. Walk inside the fucking kitchen like 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 three or four steps and like it stopped right before it got into the room and that's when we fucking like holy shit, here it comes and then it walked into the room like fucking footsteps shh, shh. like you, you could hear it. Did you feel like the presence? No, I didn't feel the presence. You just we, just we heard it was just footsteps. all yeah it was all audio like we could hear it and like we both freaked out. Did you? But then press then, record. No, no, bro. Like yeah, everything the lights were off. It was. <laughs> dark put the recorder away i think you should, you should have but put it like even yeah. as a kid as a kid like you don't i don't think kids can sense presence because most kids are oblivious to shit, but when you when you hear something but i mean you know, you're not fucking, gonna feel it we're teens like i mean you know what i mean maybe preteens. we're in middle school yeah well i again i don't think a preteen can sense somebody Why? in the room like i think you can because of puberty yeah, no, there's hormones, all kinds of shit in their no. brain. I don't think they're aware <laughs> they're of anything. Around. No, I'm pretty sure you can. All right, whatever. You know, it, it, it's just sneak up on a 13 year old to see what happens. <laughs> just walk into a room, you'll scare the shit out of them. You gotta knock first before you go in. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta knock. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, I'm cleaning my room. What are you doing with those socks? <laughs> There's all those socks hard here. <laughs> Crunchy socks. <laughs> I blow my nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you blew something. <laughs> yeah, but uh, at at that age, I mean, you're you're you want to. <laughs> you want to, yeah. Yeah, you want to. You want to. What see are you talking about? You, you want to see the shit. You want to see fucking ghosts. You want to. I had a I had a buddy. He wanted. He had a. The My Buddy doll, he wanted to turn it into Chucky. I'm oh, that's like, crazy. No, no, no. I remember I was little and I, I wanted my buddy. <laughs> my buddy. My Andy. buddy. My buddy. My buddy and me. No, that's right. Then the, 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 the commercial cuts. Right. Yeah. Kid, sister. Kid, Kid sister. sister. Oh, that's okay, right. Okay, that's where, that's where Chucky comes from. Chucky was oh, a sure, My really? Buddy doll. It was it was the... What? I feel like I'm breathing too hard. I'm fat, guys. Yeah, uh, uh, the, uh, my buddy was just <laughs> like an oversized, you know, little yeah. friend doll, which Ooh. they turned into a scary movie called Chucky and the Bride of Chucky. Yeah, there you go. And Chucky 3. Chucky was Chucky called two. what? Chucky. A uh, good guy. Uh, good, good guy. guy. Yeah. Good guy. Good guy doll. Hi, I'm Chucky. Which also is a, a phenomenon that a lot of kids are freaked out that their dolls start moving, which I, I, I thought Chucky oh, was based goodness. off of Annabelle. Yeah. I, don't well, yeah, I remember, I remember cool. my, my, my mother telling me about the, the Annabel story like back in the day. I was like in the 80s, guys. In the 80s. Damn. But yeah, she knew about that shit. Damn, son. Damn, Where'd you find son. this? Where'd you find this? Nah, that's crazy. But yeah, she... Um, we had the actual Annabelle doll, like that 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 version of fucking uh, Raggedy Ann. The Raggedy Ann, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I remember the one that we had was missing a fucking eye. Creepy. Ooh. It was fucking creepy, bro. <laughs> okay, I have a story... All and this just came up like right now. Memory. I, I didn't even write down my notes. Look, so oh, you, you're using your notes. I, I have I have three <laughs> solid stories. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna bring this one up. So I remember one time I was saying to my grandpa would call me fat all the time. Before <laughs> <laughs> this is before he got sick. So I was staying there, right? And my my cousin used to live with my grandpa and my grandma. Well, my step grandma. So uh she was addicted to dolls, dude. She was addicted to dolls. 
<laughs> she's addicted to dolls, right? I've so, seen that. Well, old lady with old ladies yeah, with dolls. But, but she had them all like in the ceiling, like not in the ceiling, like in the edges of the corners of the, the room. Yeah, like like there's a shelf up there. Yeah, like, like okay. shelves and right. shit. Okay, so I remember my mom trying to convince me not to stay, like because I wanted to stay. Like, I want to stay, mom, I want to stay. And my mom's like, nah, nah, look, it's because they move. They move. Like trying to like convince me. And I was like, nah, they don't fucking move. I'll be good. So I stayed the night, right? My cousin, because they didn't want to be weird about it, my cousin slept at my uh, my grandma and grandpa's uh, room, and I slept in my my cousin's room, right? Mm-hmm. And throughout the night, I was hearing like like stuff like moving, and I was like, ah, oh, shit, it's my cousin fucking with me. And I could, I could, I was trying to see like all the dolls in the fucking on the, on the shelves, <laughs> man. And, I was, and then I, I I would see like some of them missing. And I'm like, oh, fuck this, fuck this. <laughs> oh, so I remember like, I, I covered my, myself with a pillow and I was just like, no, 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 like, this is this, this fucking, it's on my head, it's on my head. And then I remember hearing like underneath the bed, like scratching. Fuck, dude. And I was like, Ching, that's one of the fucking dolls. Like, it's one of the dolls. So I remember I got up and then I, I, you know, the little fucking, when you peek down, just trying to see what's down there. And I didn't see shit, right? Nothing but shoes. You fucking and, peeked? Yeah, fuck it. I, I, was, I, was, I was already like in desperate mode. So I peeked, nothing was there. And I went back, and then I remember in the in the morning, I finally I woke up. Uh, my grandma, and grandpa were in the the living room, fucking drinking coffee. And then my cousin asked me, he's like, "Did they move? Did they move?" And I'm like, "Are you fucking with me?" He's like, "They moved, right?" And I'm like, "I looked at my grandma, and grandpa, like, do they fucking actually move?" <laughs> and then they're like, "Ah, oh, sometimes she comes crying that they, they're moving." What the? Fuck? And I'm like, "Why don't you fucking get rid of them? <laughs> like, why are you doing this to my little cousin?" <laughs> Wait, so there were some missing. Okay, when I was looking, I would see like gaps of like where I thought well, I saw some of them. There should be a fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they weren't there. In the morning, all of them were in there. Like all of them were stacked up. No gaps. No gaps. Dude, you know what? But I was young. I was like 10, 11. Okay, you 10. know, like I, yeah, like fucking my sister, another story. My sister, um, she used to sleep with fucking dolls on her bed. And she had like a day bed. You know what a day bed is? No. It looks like a couch. Oh. Right? But it's yeah. higher than a couch. Okay. It's a mattress. Okay. Right? Okay. So anyways, she had her fucking uh, dolls, you know, on the arms and all around. And my sister used to move a lot while she was sleeping. Like, tossing and turning and she'd fucking move. Right? And um, not to bring other shit up, but um, like she used to see a lot of shit. And she would say the dolls would protect her. Hmm. And every fucking morning when she'd wake up, those dolls were never moved. They were always in the same spot, no matter how much she tossed and turned. Hmm. Hmm. That, that used to, like, fucking freak me out. I'd be like, how the fuck are those dolls, like, they're just all sitting down? Well, what kind of dolls? Are they, like, like oh, she had all kinds dolls? Of, no, no, she had like all kinds all... of dolls. She had Cabbage Patch and, uh. and Portion Dolls and whatever the fuck that was on her fucking bed. Portion Dolls are the scariest. Oh. They are, it? they are, and I've always wondered: Are Cabbage Patch bad? Have ever they have they ever been bad? Cabbage Patch, come on! Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. I would say something stupid, uh, but yeah, I'm well, holding back. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. There's also the garbage pail. Fucking yeah, yeah. Kids. There's the garbage pails, but then you have some Cabbage Patch that. But that, anyways, but, anyways. All right. Now <laughs> the thing is, like, <laughs> creepy dolls. Creepy dolls and things like that. Okay, they seem to be alive. Is it ghostly? Is it possession? Is it some kind of spirit? Like, what is? What's the deal with that? Like, what's well, a form of like? I think a small possession for them. Possession. Yeah, like a small one, like big one being us uh-huh. know, being possessed by a ghost or something, or like uh, those. So that would be like. Is it a? It is a ghost. A ghost is ghost possession. Yeah. What I would say, I mean, haven't you ever seen the movie Ghost? <laughs> Damn, baby, what'd you do to your hair? <laughs> it's Auburn Sunset. You like it? I, I don't recall. That <laughs> no, I just remember okay. The, no, the, I don't know. The just pottery. Here. I just remember like pottery. I, I don't know. I don't know the the rules yeah, of possession. possession. Yeah, well, like can, like, can it be a ghost? Can yeah, it be a, is it just, just a fucking just, demon? No, or at least and demons, uh, aliens. But when it's objects, it's it's it is. Alien. Yeah, it Look could at be me like it's not. It is. You know, <laughs> I'm your god. You remember ah, that? One? Yes. <laughs> Which is a whole nother theory. Mm-hmm. That's a whole nother theory. Which I like that theory. Yeah, I haven't. Di- I haven't dived. I didn't. Do- I haven't done a deep, deep dive. You haven't dove. I haven't dove. The rabbit hole of the 
No. Yeah, that's a good one. You need to read the, uh, that fucking book. Uh, uh, to 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 uh, just to state it, and we're talking about the uh, handbook of the new paradigm. A- alien. We're, we're talking about alien uh, aliens being the demons, or demons being aliens. I don't know. Are we talking about that? Is is that that's what we're alluding to, right? Uh, Alluding to you. Yeah. Alluding. It means like I was saying that's three talking separate about. like Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. I understand, <laughs> Aso. <laughs> three separate Not entities. all of us are zombie face, okay? Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being <laughs> sick, man. <laughs> <laughs> um but that yeah, that's a topic for another another. Oh well, yeah, that, uh, like let me But yeah, that's it's noted. Know, that's noted. Okay, he's jotting it down. Spelling it all wrong. <sighs> What'd you spell wrong? This a uh, alien, <laughs> Aline, Aline. I spelled. I wrote il, Aline, Aline, <laughs> Aline, Aline. Personal or personnel? <laughs> mm. That's a good one, guys. Alien demon? Question mark. Mm. That's just for me. Mm. Little notes. Question. Now, mark. do you think like houses? hold like the same spirits over time i believe they do i believe um the area does Mm. because i mean you could demolish a house and i feel that that spirit will still be there but do do, do they stack up that's what i'm saying i believe they do (laughs) no 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 that's a good question and i I believe i believe they do okay they stack up wait what do you mean stack up like boom okay there's a ghost the 1800s. Oh shit! It's a fucking ghost here. Family dies. Whatever. 1900s. Boom! Well, another fucking. Oh. Doom! 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 They just keep going. I believe they do. Okay. Well. Okay. In the same, like in a in an area in the a space. same house. Let's Sorry. Say a house let's imagine there. there's a house. It's haunted. Yeah. Uh, this is stupid. All right. There's a house. It's haunted. It's been demolished. They build a skyscraper. Is only the ground floor haunted? Not in the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah, I'm only gonna say this because. What I think, my grandma's house was built on top a good of a, like old cemetery. Yeah, and like the house wasn't there, right? But there's still like a shit ton of like ghosts in there. I'm not, and you could feel it, dude. Like you could feel it when you drive by. Like every time I drive by my grandma's house, I'm like, fuck that place. <laughs> also, because you feel it, man. You feel the fucking like. I believe you go in there and you're like, it's fucking haunted, man. Like you can feel it. It's just, it's just creep. Yeah, dude, you can feel it. You just you have a creepy feeling. I feel that like ghosts have a shelf life. Ghosts are only around for a while. There's only hauntings for a while because so the energy runs out. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a law of thermodynamic thermodynamics huh. and blah blah blah. But what I'm, what I'm talking about is well, maybe I believe that maybe unfinished business. But the thing is, like, where are the caveman ghosts? Where are the where's the where's the fucking fucking fire? Well, maybe in the caves. In the caves. Yeah. Come on, guy. Well, they, Come they on. gotta live somewhere. And look, they were fucking retarded back then too. So like, how you gonna know if it's a caveman? Like, well, uh, we're, we're, they're well, banging rocks. <laughs> what about the tenth, uh, twelfth century ghosts? Every time I spark I fire, they freak out. Ghosts seem to only last for a while. Like it's it's it, what's yeah, it's, it's haunted like from a- the last. You know, several hundred years at least, at the most. Okay, right? I get. What you, yeah, 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 yeah. I get what you're saying. I get no, what. but you could blame that. Blame that on oh, this this city, this place where people live is only this old. But I don't, I don't. But then again, there's like parks and shit there. Yeah, but but even but I think I think even back then, like it would have to be like certain areas because I think, um, like even the Indians, they had certain areas that were sacred where they would bury their people yeah that's true you know I mean? and, uh, and i think that would i think that's just instinct even Not like, too, like, like back in the day like oh somebody dies to bury him over here yeah you know but I mean? so maybe not everybody feels the cavemen hauntings but maybe there is cavemen so hauntings. you think there are you think they're forever maybe cave, they're forever well, like, like i said i think they like like he said i think they do stack so your your the energy within you as you die goes into a ghost into nowhere and stays there forever not depending depending on like certain stuff like unfinished business kind of deals Unfin- okay, yeah, this yeah. is what i believe in so like the caveman are they gonna oh i never finished a wheel yeah fuck <laughs> I <needed> three more <laughs> maybe that's why they're no, that's why there's no more caveman hauntings and now we got wheels yeah they're like shit they did it they did it we're good no? <laughs> <laughs> they did. exactly what i was imagining that would explain it <laughs> know what i mean all right case solved case solved <laughs> okay 
So stacking, right? Mm-hmm. I feel they do stack um, only from personal experience. But okay, but we're talking. Let's 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 uh, do some definitions here. Because stacking is like, so there's a a, a ghost, and then from, somebody else dies, and the ghost stays there, and somebody else dies, and the ghost stays there. They all they're all there. They're all there yeah, from different so times. Like, you'll, different times, yeah. You'll uh, see or like uh, get more paranormal activity yeah. from that place after that person dies, or yeah, know. I feel I think they I th- personal experience. I feel that they do. Good example is Mercy Hospital, like that place. Yeah, I'm pretty sure stacked up to the max. But, uh, Mercy Hospital is a is a notorious hospital around our area, which has since shut down and has been abandoned. Abandoned, shut down, and it's probably uh, all dilapidated, all fucked up, and nobody wants to do anything with it. But no. it's an old hospital. But you know they opened it up yesterday to the public. Yesterday, yesterday, really? For what? April Fools. <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Y'all got me. I got you guys. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> all right. He is a dad. He still has his dad jokes. Dad jokes. <laughs> Gotta work on those dad jokes. Um, uh, I crack myself up sometimes. <laughs> so, do you think they've stacked in in where you've been? Yeah. You know, yes. I'll yes. give you an example. I, I feel that I know that they did. Okay. Because of uh, the hauntings, so should because, I just go straight into it now? Wait, because otherwise, if it's not from multiple times, different people, it's totally in the it's, same same okay. area, it would it, be, have to be a you know, massacre I, I at think, one time. I think also like it, it is different times. You don't have to die at the place to, to haunt the place. You don't have to die at the place to haunt the place. Yeah, like you could, like, like I say, Mercy, a doctor worked there for like forty years, dies in his crib, starts haunting. The fucking hospital. You know, I, I feel different. You're saying the doctors are haunting the mm-hmm. hospital? Okay, did you ever guys meet? Uh, did you ever see that dude with the deformed head? The, he was one of the doctors there. Elephant Where, man? At Mercy. Oh, what? You, no, you guys, no, 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 no. I have no do, idea do what some the fuck research you're on about. the doctor. That doctor's pretty good. Oh, he was pretty good. Um, <laughs> and not, I, not him when fixing the Mercy heads, still, hopefully. <laughs> when, the, when the Mercy was still open, my, my mom used to take me there for like doctor visits when I was a like, kid, kid. You know, I'm, I don't know how old I was. But I remember seeing that You're doctor. about one or two. Yeah, I remember seeing the doctor, like remembering seeing the doctor walk from the hospital to oh, his Oh, like crib. you remember being in Mercy Hospital. Yeah, when I was a kid, kid. Yeah, when I was a kid. When did it close down? I don't know, but you told me you. a while. Yeah, it was all Mikio. Like yeah, I remember still. seeing Walking. the fucking doctor walk. So you were in so you were in Mercy Hospital while it was Open. in business. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I figure you wouldn't be. Why? I don't know. It's been fucking shut down for a long, been a long time. time. I was born, but I'm pretty fucking old, so I was born in '94. It was open. Okay. I was born there. Okay. Yeah. No. No. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. '94. So what? Like '96, uh, '97, '98. It closed down like before 2000, I think. I don't know. Hmm. That, someone, sounds, that someone, sounds right. Someone with a computer. Back check that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I could totally remember seeing the doctor walk away. And I, I, w- when I was a kid, I remember when I see that when I saw that doctor deformed head. I remember my grandma telling me about him. Wait, I was like, defo- that dude's definitely gonna de- gonna haunt fucking Mercy Hospital. <laughs> de- deformed like. So do you know bad? he's haunting? Yeah, Mercy Hospital. I don't know if he's haunting it, but I know oh. for like in, when I was a so kid, think- I was like. He's definitely gonna haunt that bitch. Why? Because that'd be perfect. <laughs> it would, right? You think, but but you know he's what? He's a doctor. What? What? He's unfinished. Like he's yeah, successful. He's, he's still gonna be like fucked up head, but he's a doctor. Dude, what? I don't get it. Because because you still have those guys that like, you know, a- after the fact, like they leave their job, and then they die. They still feel like they're still doing that job. So they, oh, they haunt gonna, the place. That's gonna be you. Nah, negative. <laughs> that's a big negative. Yeah. So, so uh, okay, I, I, I'm curious. What did his head look like? Um, deformed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like deformed, to the like side. Big, yeah, like, big to big, the side. Like, uh, was he? This head dipped? No, no. Was so it was big, like Mega Mind big to the side. Mega Mind. <laughs> And like more wrinkly. That big and hairless. I mean, he's like he uh, just. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah. Which, oh, dude, he looked creepy as shit. With his hands, he gestured uh, about um, half a basketball size. Yeah, to to the like. Sh- to the shut right. the fuck! Half a basketball size for real, dude. I'm telling you, if you do some research, you'll probably find him. Was what was he like Indian? No, something? he was white. White. 
Mm-hmm. That makes wow. sense. Probably well, inbred. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just kidding, white folk. <clears throat> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Ah, we we. Uh, by the way, I, th- I think white jokes will pass. Every, <laughs> I don't think no one's gonna get offended with that. No, you're right. It's a classic. <clears throat> but uh, okay, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know about that. I think like if when a person dies, their spirit stays there. Because it's not like fucking uh, a soldier dies and all of a sudden he's haunting his mom's house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, well, I don't or, know. I mean, for, well, who, who the fuck wants to go to a hotel after they die? <laughs> well, it's because they fucking died there. That's why you have haunted but hotels. I, well, I'm talking about like if, if okay, and this this goes to like your personal experience, right? Like if if that's all Dude, you did, I haven't, your haunted, life, I haven't haunted nobody. No, I'm saying like, <laughs> let's say like you've done that all your life and like, you know how they say like all oh, once someone. Well, maybe when they they walk back or something. Maybe no. I guess I feel you. You know how uh, so, when someone walk like when someone uh, dies or like no sorry dies when someone retires, right? And then they die like a fucking month later after they retire. They're like, oh, what, what was keeping them alive was their job. Mm-hmm. I feel like that motherfucker's gonna go haunt that fucking job. And I've mm-hmm. I've heard of stories like that, but because uh, you, you know like uh. When a like a ranchero, like a, a rancher, right? He's he's always worked at the ranch or whatever, and then boom, he gets a heart attack. He dies at the hospital, but then he ends up haunting the fucking ranch. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've never heard a story like that, but I mean, I, I feel you. Maybe you have. I personally haven't. But does it make sense for you? Yeah, it makes sense. It does. That's you, all I wanted. You're dead. You you die, and then you wake up like, oh shit. I think they give you an option. Like, where do you want to haunt, sir? Your application here <laughs> says uh, you just recently yeah, died. Oh, you have a good it. credit score. Um, Beetlejuice style. <laughs> No, it's oh, like, yeah, take a number. Uh, you got a 620. We're gonna. You're just gonna have to hunt where we tell you. I think. Yeah, I was gonna have to go to. <laughs> No, it, it's, it's like you die, you wake up, you're yeah. like, oh shit, uh, it's time to go to work. Uh, fuck. No, maybe, maybe. I, cause, I mean, I mean we, personally, like, we don't know how, how far they can haunt. You know what I mean? I like mean, the we, range they got? Yeah. Been like, we don't know. Fight. Like, we don't know. I mean, as for, like, if we're thinking about, like, like, Yorona, that bitch got range. Why? The Yorona is a popular ghost. That uh, it's uh, from uh, I don't know. Like Mexicans legend. talk about. Yeah, it. it's a Mexican lore. That, yeah, and lore, that's for go. another episode. So yeah, yeah, we're well, gonna go ahead and move well, on. We're still working. Okay, on so that. talking about uh, people haunting the same spots, um, and why I feel they do. Mm-hmm. So, I used to live downtown here where we live. Right, mm-hmm. I used to live in in this barrio called um, El Cuatro. That means number four. Um, <clears throat> so at the block, it was our house, and then next door was our grandma's parents' house, and then behind them was, um, I guess their my grandma's sister, right? Mm. So when we're growing up, there was literally no fences between those three houses. So, so it was like, all like open. It was, it was all open. So okay. so we had our backyard. And we had all that space just to run around and fucking bullshit and, you know. So, anyways. So, then later in the, I guess in the, towards the, the late 80s. Um, of course. A friend, <laughs> a fucking friend moved in next door. Because the, the houses were already vacant. Everyone was dead. Except mm-hmm. for people in our house, right? Which was my grandma, my grandpa, my, my aunt. And we grew up there. So, my friend... We became fucking best friends since fucking elementary because he became our neighbor, mm-hmm. and um, he had a he had a he had a, a little sister, mm-hmm. right? And I remember him saying like, yeah, like like at night, like sometimes we hear uh someone crying, like like a little kid crying, and and we knew the place was we knew the area was was haunted because I remember hearing stuff in our house, and and since they moved in, they would they would tell us things like, hey, yeah, because we we could hear someone crying at night sometimes. And uh, there's one story which 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 is what stood out was um, his his little sister, and then back then they're, they're old homes, so like all the ceilings were high. Yeah, it was those really high ceilings, like even like our the house that we lived in, like the ceilings were fucking high. Well, mm-hmm. that I, I want to say that's like one of the the oldest neighborhoods. Yeah, it it, it is. It is. Yeah. So I remember his little sister was was playing with a balloon. 
and she and had a little short string on it and she lost it. It went up to the fucking ceiling, right? And um she told she went up to my friend and she's like, Hey, uh brother, brother, um can you give me can you get the balloon? And he and like he's like, No pues no puedo like in English like I, I, can't. I can't like yeah. it's it's too high. I can't get it. And uh was they left it at that. So he said later on that day she was playing with the balloon again. Mm. So, so he he, he tell, yeah, so he he goes and he tells her he's like, Hey, where'd you get the balloon? And she's like, No, pues el niño el niño me lo dio. It's like the the, the the little boy gave it to me. Right? So that was fucking weird. Right? Because she's playing with a fucking balloon. Is that, is that the fucking dog? It's a ghost. <laughs> Do you hear that? It's a dog. Oh, it's right here, right? Hold on. Pause it. You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just start. Oh, what was it? Okay, so it, that was fucking weird. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That she said, said, "Hey, this little boy gave it to me." So fast forward. Wait, so wait, I'm, wait. This just, before we fast forward, that would imply that I mean, ghosts aren't bound to gravity. In order for like, yeah, you know, they float like, you know, it's a little boy. How can uh-huh. he reach the fucking balloon? Correct. They all float. They float. They fly. How far? Uh, how, how high? How high? <laughs> fly. How fly? How fly? How fly? So, so fast forward. So we're fast forwarding to about nine years ago. Um, I was di- um my wife that I'm the girl I was dating is my wife now, right? So she and her daughter come over for the first time mm-hmm. to. The house that I'm living at, which was my grandma's house. Not the ones next door, not the ones in the back. And um, her little girl, she runs into the house, right? And um, instead of, like, like doors separating the house, like, I mean, we were pretty fucking ghetto at the time. Not anymore. Um, we're pretty ghetto at the time. So instead of doors, we had fucking curtains, mm-hmm. right? So she runs through the curtains, and, and she's laughing and shit, right? And she comes out and and she looks at me. She's like, where did she go? Or like, where did who go? And she's like, the old lady. Where did she go? Right? Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's in that house. All right. Now talking about that little boy. So when we're leaving that night, my little girl, she looks to the side to where that house where the little boy would grab the balloon mm-hmm. for my friend's uh, sister. She turns around and she said, Oh, look, mommy, that little ghost boy. He said that he can't find his mom. Right? So now, here's let me fill it in for you. When my grandma was growing up, she grew up in that house. She lost a brother. And when he was like fucking uh, four or five years old. He was playing in the dirt. He got bit by a black widow. At the time, they they had no... No antidotes or nothing for that fucking, uh, for shit like that. So he mm-hmm. died in that house. Oh, wow. Yeah. So from like, and my, 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 my wife now, like I had never told her the story of that happening. Mm-hmm. There's no way her little girl knew about that. And then, um, when, when my friend, when he told us that, the, that the boy got the fucking balloon for his sister, like we, at that time, we didn't even know the whole story. Like I remember telling my aunt, Hey, like he said that this little boy, you know, got the balloon for his sister, and and now she's playing with the balloon, and she's like, oh well, you know what? Here's a story. Your grandma had a little brother that died there because he was playing in the dirt and got bit by a black widow. So that would, I mean, you know, those that that shit's fucking stacked up like the facts on that shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. like what's the coincidences of the little girl saying, hey, you know what? The little boy got me the balloon, and then my little girl saying, hey. The little ghost boy over there is missing his mom. So, is that the unfinished business? The missing of the mom? Could be. I mean, maybe because because you know what? Um, from I remember like like as a kid, I don't know how true it was, but my parents used to say, and so my my tias or whatever, oh, because kids are real clairvoyant to stuff like that. They're uh, kids. Kids are more more susceptible to, you know, uh, outside influences and 
they, they they'll they'll see shit that you don't. Let's let's break this down. Okay, <laughs> so I think his unfinished business, in my opinion, was him being scared and lonely, right? Because he died at a young age, he's mm-hmm. missing his mom. I think his unfinished business is like someone there for him. You know what I mean? Okay. That's why he goes for the kids and like. You know, one is, wants to play. I maybe, think it's yeah, yeah, maybe, with them. Hey, you, maybe you're right. Yeah, that, that sounds them. good. I never thought about that. Well, hey, at, you know what? It at was, that age, they're never done playing. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they. they feel but hey, you know what? You know what's kind of weird lonely. too, because his sister. I don't remember if she was older or smaller. Um, but there's a couple of handprints on the wall that weren't her size, and they're still there. To this day. Now, do you think he still hunts? I'm, I'm more than sure he still does. More than sure. But I, I don't know for a fact because I haven't been there in fucking years. Would you go back? I would love to go back. Maybe we can do a recording there. And, I mean. <laughs> uh-huh. He doesn't want to do it, fans. Nah, I mean, he doesn't no, want why, to do it for you, why, for everybody out there. He, no, he's saying no. Stop listening to this podcast. Stop listening to it because. This guy's not down. Just kidding. Keep listening. <laughs> well, shit. Well, well, uh, we can put up some candles, you know. Says, That's how the horror movie we'll, we'll starts. Yeah. Mm. Three overweight guys go into the building. Three. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> One walks out. L- not the fat guy. <laughs> I ran, guys. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that that that's my that's my little story on connection. That shit, yeah. That I mean, um, sounds good. That does sound that sounded good. really good. Um, for that, for that that little little haunting, and like man, all the, like those two houses for sure are fucking haunted. And I know the one in the back. That's we didn't spend that much time there, but there was one really good one. When we were young, um, I was old enough. I remember I was little. I was old enough to get in in back of my my grandpa's pickup truck, mm-hmm. right? But I wasn't old enough. Like I was still little. I uh, had trouble getting out, mm-hmm. right? I could like climb on the fucking bumper and yeah. jump in, right? And like getting out, I was like, oh, I need help! Should, yeah. I need help! Yeah. Right? And uh, I remember we did that. We we're all playing in this fucking truck, and um, I got in. I couldn't get out. And nobody was fucking paying attention to me. So my sister was like, I'm going to go find help, right? We're both little. So she went to our backyard, right? And in in back of the the back house, um, before it hit the actual fence line of whoever lived in the fucking back, um, before it hit the fence line, she she was looking for help. She was like, thought maybe my my tias were out there, maybe my mom or something. No one was out there. So she went straight to the back. And when she turned around, she was asking for help. She's like, hey, help, 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 help my brother get out of the house. I mean, get out of the fucking truck. So when she turned around, she said she saw somebody standing there with her hand, with one hand behind her back, no feet, telling her, hey, come here. Kept telling her to come here. And she was just doing that, like, you know, with her finger, like, come, ven paca. Like, come here. My sister literally fucking went to shock for 24 hours. Like, she was fucking freaking out. Like, I, I remember, like, I remember the whole, like, fucking, like, everyone, like, panicking. Like, what's wrong with your sister? And, oh, something wrong with her. But because she saw a fucking ghost telling her to come here. Damn. In that same area. All right. So, so right there, we already have two different fucking specters. We got the little boy and we have this old lady. And which, from what, uh. My parent, or from what well, my mother and my aunt would say, it was uh, it was one of their aunts, and she was, and supposedly she died. I don't, I remember, like to tell you the truth, I don't remember if she died on the same day my sister was born, or if they both had the same birth date. It was one of those two. Hmm. But I remember, I remember that whole situation. Like I remember, like fucking being stuck in the truck. I remember everybody freaking out because my sister was freaking out. I didn't see that shit. Did you get down? Yeah, obviously I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, right? I got out. Nah, I got possessed so, of that fucking. <laughs> what has have you talked to her about it since? Oh yeah, yeah, and she still says the same story. She's like, she's like, she's like, she remembers it. She remembers it. She remembers it to a T. Jesus. 
I'll be traumatized. And, and, and she just freaked out and she yeah. couldn't or wouldn't talk. She was just in shock. She was just in shock. She was crying. She wouldn't stop crying because no. fucking she saw somebody with no legs telling her to come here. Fuck that, dude. So no legs like floating in the fucking air with floating. no legs. I'll, I'll, you know but what I mentioned? Like, no feet. Yeah, you know I think that's what it was. No feet. Like it was no just. Feet. It was just. That's it, it was just a fucking apparition of somebody like with their hands behind her, one hand behind their back, telling her to come here, doing that. Yeah. yeah okay. One by. Yeah. No. That would kind of be creepy. Just kind of. Yeah. Uh, how old was how, how old was she? Dude, I'll probably freak out for ten hours. I can't. I, like I. I can't. Uh, you can't recall. I can't recall. Okay, but young. Young. You know. I mean. I mean. Like, I mean you're, you're close to the same age. You, you can. Get yeah. We're we're just a year apart. So we're a year apart. Like I was. Like I could jump in the truck. Maybe seven. But I had trouble getting seven out. at the oldest. Five. Six, no, no, no. It was, it was, it was maybe yeah, five. Okay. Maybe five four. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's, that's always been like like she'll she'll tell you that story. Like, hey, do you remember? So and okay. they call her Tia Guille. Do you think the I I because I have a feeling the kid was like the good ghost. Remember I was talking about the good ghost and the bad ghost. Good ghost, the kid. Bad ghost being the. Well, I don't know because that's the only time that we ever. That ever happened, but dude, it, it sent her into shock. Yeah, I, I I would think she wouldn't like. Let me try to dress up so you know she won't freak out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Here's some the, fucking the hand behind the thing. back. The, the hand behind the, the, hand back behind, behind the back is, is fucking. That's the creepy part. Yeah, well, it, it could be like, mm-hmm. or just like like. Nah, nah, like, nah. Hand nah, nah. behind the back. Come here, motherfucker. Come, come here. here. I got something here. for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yanks. And then what? So that so no, but that was it. That was that was fucking it. No, I mean like, what would happen if she went? If she had went, yeah, that's a big <sighs> what if. Why is it always the old like lady ghosts, like the scariest? Because they're fucking old. But like, okay, so like uh, the, the story that uh, of my brother in Chicago, where we were, when we moved there, we had to live in the basement. Unfortunately, my dad was going to school there. Had to live in my uncle's basement. You know, he lived like in an old ass house. So when we got there, we didn't even think nothing of it. You know, it was a, it was a good little, good little uh, little basement. You know, had two rooms down there. Uh huh. <clears throat> but I remember that they had a on the, the side entrance. It had a big ass door, dude, wooden door, huge. And we was uh, I remember I saw it. I was like, oh, shit, creepy looking door. Whatever. Boom, walked in. One of one of the first nights of us staying there was. Me and my me and my brother used to sleep together, like in, a, in the. My mom just set up like a little uh, colchon or fucking a cot, cot on the floor, right? And uh, she had a little rocking chair in front of us to watch us go to sleep. You know, she wouldn't freak out or anything. That one, boom. She went to her room. She was sleeping with my dad and my little sister. She was a baby at the time, so I remember I was I, I would always like to sleep towards the wall. I don't know why. I just like sleeping towards the wall, right? So I was sleeping towards the wall, looking at the wall, and I, I could hear my brother whimpering. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is up? This guy's having a fucking nightmare. God damn it. <laughs> and he's older than me, right? <laughs> he's about two years older than me. So I, I turn around. I'm like, hey, dude, what's, what's up, man? Like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, the old lady, man. Look at the old lady. I'm like, old lady? What old lady? He's like, on the chair. I wasn't looking at the chair. I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm not going to look at the chair. I was like, dude, you're dreaming, man. Just go to sleep. He said, no, no, no. She's still there. She's still there. And like, he got closer to me. Like, w- w- once he got closer to me and started like hu- hugging me through the back, like, you know, trying to like, yeah. I was like, okay, this guy's very like ma- machito, you know, when we were kids. I was like, okay, this guy is fucking serious. So I turned around, right? And I was like, dude, not bad. It's all good. Like, I remember I, I hugged him. Like, I, I was a little brother hugging my older brother, right? I was like, nah, it's all good, dude. Like, and I remember looking at the chair and it started rocking. Like, it was already rocking. Fuck, dude. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, something is there. <laughs> so, whatever, right? We both went to bed crying. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were both hugging each other, right? And um, my mom heard us, boom, came and got us, went to my mom's room. And we slept, like, throughout the morning. So, in the morning, my mom, she was pissed at my dad, right? Because uh-huh. it's like, fuck, you brought me to a fucking haunted place, whatever the fuck. So my dad asked my uncle, which is his cousin, like, or cousin Primo, I don't know what the fuck it was. He asked him, like, well, what the fuck was up with that, right? Like, if they ever heard anything downstairs. And the dude said, the house that I bought this from, which was like 50 years ago, I bought it from this old couple. 
Well, the dude of the oh, those a husband and wife. The husband used to fucking get drunk, wait, like blackout drunk. Uh-huh. He used to beat the shit out of the fucking chick, Damn. and she couldn't have kids because of that. So she would lock herself up in the fucking basement, and then the and the the big door on the side it was wood door, right? And it had a bunch of scratches from the dude trying to get in, trying to beat the fuck out of the fucking. See, the, the, the door was still there. The door, the door was still there. Fuck yeah! And that, that's what our uncle told us. Like he fucking opened the door. He's like, "Oh, look at all these scratches." They, that's what they told us that there was a dude trying to fucking get into the to the basement to beat up the chick. So the the husband died first, and then she eventually died at the house. But, like, one of her uh, main things was that she couldn't have kids. So, I was telling my mom, my, my mom was telling us, like, oh, Miko, like, she's just trying to protect you guys. Because she probably, she probably felt the presence of my dad being there. And she was looking over us because she always wanted to have kids. And, like, she probably didn't trust my dad or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. It, yeah. it, it was. To have the fucking scratch still there and shit. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. wait. The, the scratch is, like. <laughs> that's that's strange to be scratching into a door like. You I mean, you're drunk, to... dude. Like, imagine you're drunk. You're like, yeah, let me in. <laughs> hey, do, you miss, do you see me scratching anything? We'll find out tonight. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna be banging the door in the morning? You're like, fuck, I scratched the door. Yeah, no, it is pretty late. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I get home. Um, I yeah, I mean, and, and that's her unfinished business. Take a the, uh, so. Not having kids. I think so. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking. The scratches are real. Oh shit! No, but the, those scratches were made while the the husband was alive. I'm yeah, guessing. yeah, that makes sense. But like, uh, okay, maybe he's uh, he's got a fucking knife or something, and he's like, like, like you don't scratch a door to get in it unless you're a dog, like this little fat guy. Fucking right here. pugly wuggly is a chick. Come here. Come here. Say something. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I get that for dogs. Like, that doesn't make sense. Humans don't, like... Oh, if you're desperate, like... Uh, let me in. I, I, okay, you make scratches if you have something in your hands. You know, you have something in your hands. You're 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 like you're gonna not like you're gonna stab somebody. You're like banging on the door, and I, don't, I like I don't know. You well, say, and you saw I, the scratches. I, I, you saw, I the saw, scratches. saw the scratches. It looked like markings, not scratches. But I'm just going based on what they told what me. they told you. Yeah, that the dude would scratch the door. But I, I'm, they look and like markings, like that, like like chingasos at the door. One thing I'm, I'm skeptical also, and we we've got them. But you tell kids, you can, you tell kids stories, you know, you keep their mind busy. Yeah. So you always got to wonder how many stories were I, was I told? Yeah, but but still, like, I mean, sorry, I had to take a pee break, but. Like y'all, you fucking your brother saw the fucking yeah, fucking yeah. chair moving. No, no, okay, no, no. Right. No, that right. he saw that's legit. he saw the old lady sitting there. Oh, he saw the fucking yeah. He I only the, saw the chair moving. Oh, moving. you saw the fucking chair moving. I only saw Dude. the chair moving. He saw like the actual person sitting there, looking at him. Yeah, or looking yeah, yeah. at us. Yeah, that that I get. Well, and I, I turned around and I was like, "Nah, he's fucking around." And boom! I saw the fucking chair. But moving. to have the like, original shit. door there, the the original door. It's because at uh, Chicago, dude. Like all those old houses, they were made with like good materials and shit. That's, that's what I noticed. The old stuff, lasts. old stuff is yeah, old stuff yeah. still lasts. Like here in Laredo too, like like the, the old wood. Like I can hear my neighbor like fucking, fucking red pine. Oh, dude, TV don't, don't even. <laughs> dude, talk about our house, bro. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. They fall apart in a few years. Yeah, yeah, but it's fucking all the wood stain and shit. But yeah, for like like our old house, like you know, I had to repair some of the spots. Like fucking, the people that would come over to fix the fucking roof, they were like, oh, "Dude, like the wood you have down here is fucking good. Like that's old wood. That's that's what like they th- there's you. a difference. Yeah, yeah. There's a fucking difference. Come on, come on. There's a fucking difference. Come on, come on, food. No, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's blowing me kisses, guys. Come on, man. Right now, I had the dog come in and and say something to come the mic. Fucking went to go pee with the dog in. Oh, I did. Yeah, he did. 
I did. Yeah, she's fine there. She's gonna make whimpering noises. Like you? <laughs> hey, wash it down, wash it down. Where do we leave off? Well, we left off with that fucking old lady in the rocking chair. Did we? Scratching. The scratching and all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, it was probably. So, uh, yeah, it's fucking crazy, dude. So, so your brother did see the fucking old lady. He did. You saw the fucking chair rocking. I saw the chair rocking. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. And I can kind of visual what he saw. Uh-huh. Kind of. I n- n- never asked him. But uh, he always did say, like, that shit kind of, like, traumatized him. And he is a little pussy. <laughs> so, I think it's because of that. I- I- I'm-, I'm pretty sure it's because of that. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh about you, bro. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> like, What's wrong, dude? You, I'm supposed to be doing that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so we still got some more stories to tell, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap it up, and yeah. we will see you on the next one, guys. Well, you hear it on the other side. Fear the beers. <laughs> 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 My buddy, my buddy, my buddy.